Today, do you know the Lord Jesus Christ? If not, call upon the Lord Jesus Christ and be written in the Lamb's book of life. The only way to the Father is through the Son. The only way to everlasting life, everlasting life is forever and ever around that 14th day, that Sabbath day of everlasting rest. And I'm going to show that to you in many studies. And I just ask that you be patient with me and that you follow me in this study that God's revealing something to us in His day. In the creation of a day and an hour, a week, a thousand years. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. <clears throat> All things were made by Him. And without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. <clears throat> he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Praise God. Lord Jesus Christ is from the foundation. He created the world. He came into the world and the world received him not. Because he was the light. If you will, this circle is a day. From the evening to the morning. And the morning to the evening is one day. And this is also the earth. So this would be the daylight. And Jesus Christ is of the light. I'm going to read Genesis. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God <coughs> excuse me, moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. So the morning to the evening was the light. And God saw the light and it was good. And God divided the light from darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So we're looking at the first day of creation right here. Evening to morning. And morning to evening was the first day. It's, I guess you'd say, 60 minutes. It's also a year. You have six sets of 60, making 360, or... Two halves of 180 days, making 360 days. Now, I know our calendars don't show that, but in the, in the beginning, God created a 360-day a 360 year. And uh, I think as we seek for truth, truth will be in us. We are to remember always that at sunset, the evening is the beginning of a day. And that's how I started this study and I started drawing out the day, and then I realized that seven days fits in with one day. 7,000 years, or whatever you want to call it, a week. All things, God is perfect. And He's going to show us through this study that we are children of the light from the morning to the evening. Lord Jesus Christ is the light upon the, the, the earth. And the world never received the light. I don't want to get too deep into it, but it's an amazing study. The first day of creation, the second day of creation, the third day of creation, the fourth day of creation, the fifth day of creation, in the evening and the morning, and the morning to the evening was the sixth day of creation. God created man in his image. From his labors, he rested on the Sabbath day, in the evening, in the morning, in the morning to the evening, the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is important because it completes God's week, therefore making it perfect. All things made by God are good. Man will destroy it. Man will, will join together in forces and minds. 
to build a tower to be as God and to divide man that seeks God out with lies and the changing of time and the change of history. We're to be children of this daylight and truth will be delivered and given to us if we seek him out. So call upon the Lord Jesus Christ this day and be saved and continue on with my study. And I think God's going to show us a lot of stuff with this. Oh, I know it. I've already looked into it. This is just the beginning of the study and God's revealed so much to me because God wanted me to look for a day. And he wanted me to show he wanted me he wanted to show me his day and he wanted to show me his week. And he wanted me to he wanted to show me the history of life and the end of time and the millennium of Jesus Christ and the everlasting Sabbath that 14th day is everlasting Sabbath don't want to get too deep into it excuse me Lord Jesus Christ be with us this day and if you're not saved if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ call upon the Lord Jesus Christ this day and be written in the Lamb's book of life Call upon the Lord this day and be saved because the days are near and we are to be blameless and we are to seek for truth and I just ask that you join me in that truth. I love you so much. Take care.